This is Selma Schimmel, and you are looking live at the great city of Chicago, which is once again playing host to the American Society of Clinical Oncology, ASCO. This is ASCO's 49th annual meeting, and this year's theme could not be more appropriate, Building Bridges to Conquer Cancer. More than 30,000 of the world's foremost cancer specialists are here, and so is the group room, making our 15th appearance at ASCO and one of our very best. Joining me now is Dr. Amy Abernathy, President of the American Academy of Hospice and Palliative Medicine. Dr. Abernathy also leads ASCO's Virtual Learning Collaborative for Palliative Care, and she is the Associate Professor of Medicine and Director of Duke University's Center for Learning Healthcare. Welcome, Dr. Abernathy. Thank you. What do we need to do in medical education to make it easier, and especially in medical oncology, to help medical oncologists be able to focus on the medical oncology issues that they need to do with limited time mm -hmm. and to begin to integrate palliative care specialists, which I know we need more of in this country, to work together. So what you're asking is how do we adequately equip oncologists but then help oncologists recognize when to partner in the care of patients? So if we think about this, um, probably the easiest thing to do is to go back to first principles, um, to recognize that palliative care is, you know, it's as old as healthcare, right? Because by definition, helping to focus on this person's best survivorship and best quality of life is a part of healthcare as long as health, health has been around. But at the same time, the conversations about palliative care and the tools in the toolbox today yes. feel like a new skill set. So what we need to do is, first of all, make it okay to have the conversation that as oncologists, many of the things that we do, because I'm an oncologist as well, many of the things that we do in our toolbox are indeed hopefully excellent palliative care. And rather than try and rub that out and say, oncology, you don't know how to do this, we actually need to endorse that, in fact, we want as oncologists to do well, but recognize that for many patients, the tools in our oncology toolbox either are you know, only part of the solution and we need the capstone of additional specialist level care. And sometimes as an oncologist, I need to focus on a discrete set of tasks and I only have time for those tasks. Mm -hmm. And I need to be able to draw from the community of other healthcare providers, including palliative medicine specialists, who can help make sure that the full needs of the patient are met together. Part of the gift that goes with really addressing palliative care on in, in these intimate levels, and you talked about you know, spirituality and getting close to people's families as well, is the ability to truly communicate, but that you as a human being also have to be very comfortable within your own skin, and you also have to then have taken time to engage with yourself about all these areas of life that a lot of us don't want to engage with. It's hard stuff and so it's asking a doctor a lot to have to begin to talk about issues that they themselves mm -hmm. may not have found their comfort zone yet. Just as we have to have compassion with our patients we have to have compassion with our colleagues who are doctors and healthcare providers of all kinds. Right. One of the things that always makes me frustrated is when we bash our colleagues for not being able to do things well. But rather, if we have compassion and we say, okay, we want to help people do things as well as they can, but have the capstone, it's very helpful. Everyone has a life story. Every yeah. physician is a physician by training, but they're a human being by birth and they carry with them their own life story and none of us can know what their life exposure has been, what their orientation has been, and we do have to allow everyone to discover themselves in the process. You are so right, right? But, and, we, and we do this, and we, we make that allowance for patients. We want to make that allowance for patients, and, and I think it's really important that we also make that allowance for ourselves as healthcare providers. Well, no doubt your uh, time with us is going to help patients, but I especially hope it will, will help your colleagues too. Thank you, I'm honored. Thank you, Dr. Amy Abernathy, President of the American Academy of Hospice and Palliative Medicine, 
Dr. Abernathy also leads ASCO's Virtual Learning Collaborative for Palliative Care, Associate Professor of Medicine and Director of Duke University Center for Learning Healthcare. Thank you very much. Thank you.